Hello and welcome to 200 Marjorie, Riverside, Ohio. Here I'm standing out in front of this home, taking a walk up to the front right now. As you can see, we have a large one car detached garage. It's only a couple steps away from the house here. Uh, it looks like most of the windows were updated at some point in this house. They all look like vinyl double pane windows to me. Roof here, roof doesn't look too bad from the ground. Gutters need cleaned. But this is a little fixer upper house. It's not in terrible shape. Kitchen looks good, bathroom's not too bad. You have some flooring, some drywall skim coating, some paint, and this place will be looking good. So we're priced, as the fixer upper, we're priced reflecting the work that needs to be done. Now let's go take a look at what needs to be done. I'll meet you inside. All right, so here just walk through the front door. We're greeted by the living room here. Uh, this looks to be a wood-burning fireplace from the living room. We walk into the kitchen and these cabinets are all in good shape. Gas range here. Uh, flooring, this, I would say the flooring in here needs to be replaced. It looked good until there's a little spot over there that's chipped up. But these cabinets and countertop are in good shape. Kitchen sink doesn't look too bad. All the windows are, are look to be double pane vinyl windows have an upgraded electrical service here. Our utility room here. Water heater, a little bit older in here. Furnace, eh, looks like maybe it's you know early 2000s on the furnace. Their washer and dryer area. Uh, there is a plumbing leak in one of these pipes right here. And the water's on, but it's currently off because of that plumbing leak there. And then that's the front door where we just came from. There is a second floor here. It's unfinished, but could be finished off. So right now we're a two bedroom. This is bedroom one. This is on the front right of the home. Solid wood doors for the closets. Bathroom here, really not in too bad a shape here. It's a corner vanity. That looks to be in pretty good condition. Toilet doesn't look too old. And the tub looks like it could be cleaned up and just recalked. Surround doesn't look too old. Little vanity cabinet, so really some paint and carpet. A uh, good amount of uh, scraping for drywall and some skim coating throughout. This is bedroom number two on the back right of the home. But really good amount of, you know, not a good amount, but a decent amount of drywall, some scraping and painting on some stuff, some skim coating, some carpet and paint, and this one's looking pretty good. Uh, before I let you go, I'm gonna show you the unfinished attic that could be finished to a third bedroom. I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here it just came up to the second floor. We do have a solid wood floor up here. This totally could be finished into a very large uh, third bedroom. Plenty of room to put a bathroom up here as well. Just put a couple knee walls. Uh, the ductwork, kind of the main stack is right there with the ductwork going down so you could tie into that, put a knee wall over there. So a lot of options are just a second floor family room, game room, party room, jam room. Uh, a lot of options up here. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they would be happy to show it to you. Great neighborhood, great price. This definitely has some sweat equity attached to it. Uh, some work was started like the outlets and things like that, but really it's been untouched here. But give us a call. We look forward to talking to you.